We just took about a 30 minute hike to the El Peguche waterfall. It means sacred mist. Definitely when you get closer to it, you feel the mist. It feels very cleansing. The local indigenous people here come to this waterfall to celebrate and have rituals. There's a lot of culture and history behind this waterfall. This is cool, where's my camera? Oh, we bouncing, we bouncing a lot. This is so beautiful. And this is a really bouncy bridge. <laughs> What did you think of the waterfall? It was beautiful. Love the mist. Hola from the Otabalo Market here in Otabalo, Ecuador. I think I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know. We've been spending the last like 45 minutes to an hour just kind of walking around all the different vendors and bartering and we bought a few, bought a few treats. Yay. But it's beautiful here. Everyone is so friendly and so nice. It's just very cultural. This town has a lot of history. There was actually an earthquake and they had to rebuild it 130 years ago when we were on the way here. That's what our tour guide yep. told us. And in the background, you can't really see it, but there's a huge volcano. It's beautiful. Welcome to the city of Otabalo. Papayacta. Tonight we are staying at Termas Papayacta and there's hot springs literally right outside of our hotel room. Let's go check it out. That wraps up a wonderful day exploring a lot of Ecuador. Tomorrow we are heading into the Amazon, which is what I've been looking forward to most of this entire trip. We'll be spending two days there at a rainforest lodge and I will definitely have videos and pictures coming, so make sure to be on the lookout for all of that. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel to get all the latest updates of my adventures in Ecuador. See you guys tomorrow. Well, if you go up to the monument, they actually stamp your passport. And it says Ecuador. Mitad del mundo Ecuador. It's official, we got stamped on the <laughs> equator. <laughs>